we will solve the erodo problem 1.256 in this problem the mechanism is there is a cylinder with mass m radius r it is placed on supported by two planks there is a thread which is wound around the cylinder and we are applying force f this force will be acting on tangent to the cylinder if we take a side view so this force is basically providing it a torque now we have to find out the f maximum such that no slipping takes place the cylinder doesn't slip on the planks now let us see what are the forces which are acting there would be normal reaction on both the planks upwards the weight which is acting let me show this from the center so that there is no confusion and and let me show the weight also through the center this will be mg which is supported by both the ends this weight is actually center we are taking now the n and n are the two reactions and there would be pure rolling since we are saying there is no sliding and since the cylinder is getting torque due to this force and there are planks like this it can only move like this without sliding it will move and the horizontal movement will be like this and angular acceleration will be in this direction because of this the frictional force will be opposing this motion because here the f here the rotation is not due to the frictional force but rotation is due to this force and the frictional force will be opposing it like this it will be mu n and if we see the total frictional force it will be twice mu n mu n on each plank it will be twice mu n and the upward force is again twice n now let us see what is the uh, value of the normal reaction this is the vertical weight mg downwards there is no movement in the vertical plane since there is no movement in the vertical plane mg would be equal mg plus f would be equal to twice n so twice n is equal to f plus mg is one relationship now since it is moving in this direction there is acceleration a let us equate the forces in the horizontal plane m a will be equal to what is the force in this direction this is the force this is the only force which is acting in the horizontal direction so it will be twice mu n another relationship we can write that is for the alpha i alpha will be equal to the net torque and what is the net torque will be f r minus mg f r minus twice mu n r mg is not providing torque sorry only the forces which are providing torque is this and this and both are opposite to each other we have to take those torques positive which provide the acceleration in clockwise direction because we have taken angular acceleration like this so this torque that is fr would be positive and this torque that is mu n twice mu n r would be negative so the i alpha i is m r square upon 2 there is no slipping 
So L alpha is equal to A upon R for pure rolling and this would be equal to what is the net torque F R minus twice mu N R. So just cancel out the R it comes M A upon 2 is equal to F minus twice mu N is the relationship. Another relationship is this mu N twice mu N mu 10 mu, uh, twice mu N is M A so it becomes M A upon 2 is equal to F minus minus M A so F is equal to 3 upon 2 M A is one relationship but we need to find value of F not in terms of acceleration but in terms of mg and mu so let us eliminate a from in this equation m a is equal to twice f upon 3 is equal to twice mu n this becomes twice mu n is equal to m a and f was 3 upon 2 m a m a is twice f upon 3 2 2 get cancelled so f is equal to 3 times mu n place the value of n here so it becomes n is equal to f upon 3 mu place it here it becomes twice f upon 3 mu is equal to f plus m g this becomes take f common f 2 upon 3 mu minus 1 is equal to m g so f is equal to 3 mu m g upon 2 minus 3 mu this is will be the maximum force up to which the pure rolling is taking place because if it exceeds this force the alpha will not be equal to a r it will start slipping so this is the force which can be applied maximum force which we can apply in this case so that's all on this thank you